hello everyone this is dr dix coming back at you with another video like share and subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button when you're viewing my video to subscribe to my youtube channel on instagram you can reach out to me at king of automation underscore ai and follow me you can also on linkedin send me a connection request and search for dr patrick dix and lastly go to my website the dix group.com you can read my bio, you can view more of my videos, you can also contact me. And lastly, you can reach out to me for a consultation and select one that fits your needs. So again, I look forward to hearing from you. The title of this video is Artificial Intelligence and what are you gonna do about it? We are now heading into the fourth industrial revolution and we've started in some parts of it already with digital, te with digital technology. And I wanna ask the listeners and the viewers of this video, what are you gonna do about it? People don't seem to take artificial intelligence and automation very seriously. You know, I go online and I go on Instagram, I go on YouTube, I rarely use TikTok, and I see memes and I see other things about nonchalant activities and other things going on. And people are not thinking in the rearview mirror, artificial intelligence and automation is slowly getting faster, it's getting more sophisticated, and it is going to eliminate the need for people in certain jobs unless they are trained with a different skill set. And it, what frightens me is people don't think this is very serious or how these two technologies are going to be considered life altering. And we could put that big word on the screen, Peter, life altering. And when I say life altering, once these technologies take away jobs, life will never be the same because certain jobs and mundane processes. And when I say mundane, that means they're minimum. And when I say repetitive, it's doing the same thing over and over. Those employees, regardless of race or gender or social economic status, you will not be needed anymore unless you have a transferable skill set. And we're going into a world now to where people are not thinking as they used to. You know, someone was, tell someone was telling me and they sent me a video also of even now on certain cash registers, they used to have the word hamburger or hot dog spelled out, now they have an icon. That is already telling me that we are not thinking as people and we are not using our brains to the full potential. So there is these two technologies, artificial intelligence and automation that will eliminate many of us. My question to you again is, what are you gonna do about it? The thing is, you still have time to prepare. I know I have doom and gloom sometimes, but I have to be real with people, but the optimism in me um, is telling everyone you still have time to prepare. You have time to get a transferable skill set. You have time to get a blue collar skill set. You still have time to get an HVAC, um, electrician, plumber, construction, landscaping. And in the white collar, you can get one of the AI jobs that are going to be created, which I will go into further details in in another video. And with those white collar jobs, many of the people that have those skill sets are going to be transferable. And many of the people in the blue collar jobs are going to have transferable skill sets. It's that small sector of society, when you really think about it, that's going to be really left behind and we consider them useless. It's not my words. You can check out the article from 2017, February 24, 2017, the rise of the useless class. And we have to be honest and you have to ask yourself, I've even asked this in videos before, do you want to be a useless person in society or do you want to give value to society? I myself, I want to give value and I want to inspire others to do the same, but you cannot do that unless you have the correct skill set. Taking things not seriously right now, it could be the worst mistake of your life. Back in the day in the early 1900s, you know, we had the horseless carriage. I've talked about this in another video where people that didn't learn how to drive cars when we went from a horse and buggy to cars became obsolete. And I want people to think about this too. Here's another example. You had the lantern and then you had electricity. People that were afraid to use actual uh, DC or AC, you know, you talk about Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. You talk about going from the lantern, which used oil from um, Rockefeller, you know, at the kerosene. You know, that's another transition back in time. People went to um, electricity, which you can't see or feel unless you get shot by it, from walking around with a dangerous kerosene lantern to where if it knocked over, you could have set your whole house afire. I want people to look at that example too of how things have transitioned and it's taken society forward. So think about the people that did not want to um, get electricity in their home once it became national and widespread were left behind. We are now in another pivotal time to where you must adapt and overcome. There's an old saying that says adapt and overcome. 
you know, one of the reasons why the U.S. military is the most powerful military in the world is because they can adapt to anything. They train for everything. That's why people come train with our military personnel, regardless of what country they're in in the world, to learn how to be agile and to learn how to adapt to different situations. The same principles that the U.S. military use on how to adapt and overcome, you have to do that in your own life. The military... Um, military, not the military, some militaries are not adaptable as the United States military, regardless what people will say, the United States military is still the greatest military in the world. My dad was a Vietnam vet and I've had cousins. I've had uncles that served in the military and I know the sacrifice it takes. So I want people to remember and think about it like this. If the U S military trains for everything possible, why aren't you doing the same? This is why they can do all of their missions and they can have minimal casualties. If you think about the Bin Laden raid where the Navy SEALs went in in the middle of the night and they were able to kill Osama Bin Laden and get intelligence and no one knew what actually happened until one of the helicopters messed up. And still, even when that happened, no one still found out until the morning what happened. That's how you need to be in life. They train for everything. And with artificial intelligence and automation, you're going to have to over prepare. I am over preparing for life. I want you to over prepare for life to overcome what we're about to go into into this world. You're going to have to be that way. You're going to have to train. You're going to have to retrain. You're going to have to be like the military again. You're going to have to over prepare. You're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to learn how new things work. You're going to have to get uncomfortable to learn. If you're comfortable right now and you're complacent, going to be hard for you to succeed in the world we're living in for well, motivating people i have a book that i'm finishing writing up and we're going to have training classes to get people adjusted to what is going on you can look at the news and can say oh well that's five to ten years down the line no some of these technologies are going to get proficient in less than 60 months and then the game is over and then people are going to want to point the finger at someone else so again i want you to ask yourself Artificial, in, artificial intelligence and automation are here and they are being researched and they are being perfected. What are you going to do? So the next time you look at yourself in the mirror, ask yourself, do you want to be part of the solution or do you want to be part of the problem? I want everyone to be part of the solution. I want you to be able to flourish, but you cannot get to the solution until you learn the problem, until you're able to learn how to fix it. So again, this is Dr. Dix coming back at you with another video. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.